Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a simple tip that you can use to add both top of climb and top of descent to your Garmin Reality XP GNS430 flight plan. And you can use this method for any other Garmin series. To do so, I'll be using the Simbrief flight log. Without further ado, let me show you step by step how to do this. For this demonstration, I'll be using the Captain Sim Boeing 737-200, which has no FMS, it's a VR based navigation, so I have upgraded its navigation system to GPS Garmin 430, which works great. So let's go to my virtual cockpit and see how to add both the top of climb and top of descent to our flight plan. As you can see here, here is my Garmin 430 installed on my dashboard. Now, for the first time doing this, you will need to create two names which are TOC for top of climb and TOD for top of descent on the Garmin database using the user page. That means you don't need to do this step for each flight. It's a one-time setup. Okay, now let me do this first step. As you can see, um, now my Garmin display is on nav group. Using the big knob, I go to Y point group. Then using the small knob, I go to the last page, which is a user page. Here I will start with TOC or top of climb. I will create TOC user Y point. Then enter. Using my big knob, I move my cursor to highlight create question. Then I hit enter. Now you can see here TOC is being created on user waypoint list page with a number one identifier. Now I go back and do same thing to create the top of descent TOD. Highlight create question then enter. I go to my user waypoint list to make sure that TOD is being created and here we go all set for this step. All what you need now for each flight plan is to edit and modify the position of TOC and TOD as I'm gonna show you in the next step. As I said earlier that I'll be using the Simbrief flight plan in order to add both the top of climb and top of descent to my Garmin 430 flight plan. And this is my Simbrief operational flight plan OFP. And you can see here it's generated for my Boeing 737-200 which I'm gonna fly today. Now to find the positions of my top of climb and top of descent, I scroll down to the flight log page. Here it is. Here we can find all our flight plan waypoints with their related informations, including the top of climb and top of descent with their related positions. Let's locate first uh, the top of climb. Here it is. This is its position coordinates. And you will see here it gives us also another way to determine the top of climb and top of descent positions using a radial and distance. For instance, my top of climb is located on radial 284 of PMEC with 2 miles. Now I know my top of climb position. Let's now move to top of descent and find its position. Here is my top of descent and it's located on radial 278 of Mazdu with 43 miles. 
now I've determined the position of my top of climate top of descent let's go back to my Garmin 430 and show you the next step now for each flight we need to edit and modify both top of climb and top of descent by going back to waypoint group then user page open the menu window then highlight view user waypoint list enter starting with top of climb i will define its position for the today's flight using the reference waypoint radial and distance option and if you wish to use uh, the coordinates you can enter them in this section my top of climb for uh, this flight is uh, on radial 284 of BMEC with 2 miles distance. I move my cursor to reference waypoint and enter BMEC. Then enter my radial which is uh, 284. Enter. Then for distance I put 2 miles. Then enter. Finally, I move my cursor to modify question, then enter to confirm the modification. Now my top of climb is set, then I move to top of descent. Same thing, I will enter its reference waypoint, which is Mazdu. Enter. The radial is 278. Enter. Distance is uh, 43 miles. Enter. Finally, I move my cursor to modify question. Same thing. Then enter to confirm the modification. Now, the last step is entering both the top of climb and top of descent in our flight plan. Starting with top of climb, which is located after PMEC. So I will enter my top of climb here using my small knob. I will call top of climb from my database. It gives me a duplicate waypoints list. Make sure to use the user waypoint as you can see it's highlighted already. Then hit enter, then accept. Here is my top of climb and it's always a good practice to verify the position and uh, the desired track and distance to make sure it's correct. Moving now to the next step which is entering top of descent which is located after Mazdu. I dial my top of descent then enter here is my top of descent after mass do desire track and distance are correct now let me show you this on the map page here is my top of climb after bmec and let's see uh, the top of descent and here it is that's all for uh, this tutorial thank you for watching and see you in the next video